Hello, and welcome to Maxible, your number one resource for ADU information. This is the third video in our series that will provide you a step-by-step -step guide constructing your ADU. This video covers the next stage of construction, the utility rough-ins. And please check out our other videos or maxablespace.com for all the resources you need to build the ADU of your dreams. So let's dive in. So let's talk about your rough-ins. Your rough-ins are your electrical, your plumbing, which includes gas, and your mechanical, which is any ventilation or HVAC system. Let's talk about electrical first. So the first thing that the inspector wants to do is come in and make sure that you have sufficient lighting for your space. You as the homeowner need to make sure that it works for you though. You need to make sure that your light switches are in the right place, that you have sufficient receptacles. In this particular ADU, we decided we wanted to have a TV height outlet. So we worked that into the plan. We can see over here, we also put in a sub panel. It's actually facing the outside, but you can see the more heavy duty wires coming into the sub panel. The other thing is that when you're doing an ADU or actually in any construction nowadays that your smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors need to be hardwired. In this property, we didn't do gas. So we have 220 voltage in the laundry room, in the kitchen, and for the water heater. All right, let's talk about plumbing rough-in. Plumbing rough-ins are actually done in two phases. Your waste lines are actually done at the time that you do your foundation. So we already passed our waste lines that are underneath the slab, especially important when you're doing slab foundations. But the plumbing inspection we had today was for our water lines, which you see we have here in the kitchen. Um, and we're gonna have our sink here and the dishwasher there, and then all our venting. And so every sewer line needs to have a vent that's properly vented. Let's go to the bathroom because in the bathroom, you'll be able to see that you have to put the sewer line and the vent lines under test. And so you can see how this is taut in this bubble here. That's because it's under pressure. And so the purpose of our inspection today was to make sure that it's one, properly installed to code, and two, that it doesn't have any leaks, not even the vent pipes or the waste lines, which is very important. So in your laundry room, it kind of marries the plumbing and the HVAC because you actually have the mechanical two things going on. So here we are planning for a stackable. So we have our OD box here where we have our water coming in and this will get popped out for our drain to go out. But for your dryer, you need venting. And because it's a stackable, the dryer is usually on top. So we have this in-wall venting and the vent goes up through the roof. All right, so part of your mechanical are your vent fans. And in a laundry room, you need ventilation for air quality. You also need it in a bathroom. And we have in the bathroom, I don't know if you can see it here, we have a vent fan in the bathroom. and all the way through there, I don't know if you can focus in on that, you can see the venting for the range hood. So that's part of your mechanical inspection. The other part, and we'll cut to the attic, is the ducting in the attic. So in our attic, we have our ducting and we have our HVAC system already in place. And if you follow me outside, I can show you where the condenser is. And here we have the electrical coming out and this is the coil for what will be the condenser for the air conditioning unit. So now you're ready to move on to the next video in our step-by-step -step guide, installing windows and doors. And if you're interested in getting started on your own ADU or garage conversion, check out maxablespace.com for all the tools, tips, and design ideas you need to get started. If you want some help on your ADU journey, please click on the link below and Maxible can connect you with architects, contractors, and lenders that can turn your ADU goals into realities. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.